President Obama delivers his State of the Union address tonight, and Governor Daniel Malloy is on his way to Washington for that speech. The governor is planning to be in the nation's capital for about 15 hours with some breakfast meetings tomorrow morning. Our chief capital correspondent, Mark Davis, live in our Hartford newsroom now with more on the whirlwind visit. Mark? That's right. Hi, Darren, and good evening, everyone, from the Hartford newsroom. This is Malloy's fourth trip to Washington since he was elected. Governor Malloy was scheduled on a 4.55 p.m. flight to Washington to attend the President's State of the Union address at the invitation of First District Congressman John Larson. Malloy says he's eager to hear the President's agenda for creating more jobs with more federal spending on construction projects. I hope the President agrees with me, um, as I believe he does, that, that jobs is uh, what we have to concentrate on, um, that an appropriate level of infrastructure reinvestment um, is what's going to be necessary for the United States to compete with other nations that have invested mightily uh, in their infrastructure. Malloy also said his time in Washington is fully booked on state business. I do have two meetings in the morning. I am uh, seeing a candidate for the uh, uh, Department of Transportation position, and I also have a meeting with Joe Courtney to talk about uh, Route 11 um, and uh, transportation um, uh, projects in his congressional district specifically. Route 11 has ended here in Salem since it was built in 1975. It has been a dream for years to connect it with I-95. But noting that another big snowstorm is forecast for tomorrow night, Malloy says he's rushing right back to Connecticut. I'm coming back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. as the flight because of the storm. Uh, Malloy has said in the past that if there is any kind of snowstorm that is predicted in the next 24 or 48 hours, he will be back here in his job. Before he left for D.C., Malloy outlined his framework for his new state budget. We'll have details on that coming up at 6. And what Republicans are saying he ought to include. That's all coming up at 6. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.